This is that. Yeah. 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 It wasn't the car. 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 But before our trip across Canada, he had it repainted. Right. But he pulled the engine apart and there was not the original top? No, he had the top okay. done also, yeah. sorry, because the top was getting kind of leaky. So the top and the paint had been done in the tires. Yeah. But it's the engine was all original, the original muffler, original clutch. Wow. Uh, just because it, it had very little use. It's got a speedometer on it that says about 30, 20, and when he got it, I think it was 23,000 miles. Yeah. But uh, now it's it's up to about 38 or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> He's been putting heavy duty use on it in the last 20 years. But, uh, Can we take a look at the engine? Oh, yeah, sure. sure. Yeah, thank you. There's a lot of stuff in the story that has to do with uh, maintaining the engine. I've been driving like, um, say, 30s, 40s cars. Is it two, two blocks? Two blocks. Yeah, I'll show you how it starts. Yeah, great. It actually starts pretty well. <laughs> How did I go put mine in the park in here for me? Sounds better than my car. <laughs> So by mid-1912, um, uh, a lot of the other cars were also coming out with starters. So the right. 1913 Rios, they had an electric starter as an option, and electric headlights, and electric towel lamps, that kind of stuff. Um, they kept this engine design for quite a few years, uh, pretty much um, up until the 19, early 1920s. Um, but the body designs changed a lot because they got a little more flowing lines, a little more streamlined, and uh, lower down, smaller wheels, that sort of thing. Um, but, um, you know, the, the basics of this car remain the same for probably five or six years at least. What kind of headlights are these now? Acetylene. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. yeah. And there's a tank on the running board. And I went really? I got the car, there's still acetylene in that tank. But we burned it off and you can't get those tanks refilled anymore because oh, really? we expect it. Unless you know somebody's got connections. Oh, right. <laughs> I took a can up an old one to my local gas station kid who was 18 and he was the smartest kid ever you met. You prayed on a naive. And he said, is this a reproduction tank? Absolutely. And he filled it up. <laughs> and that's what he's supposed to do. So these work, do they? Yeah, they do. Yeah. Did you can uh, you turn them on? Or? Not right now. The, okay. the, the, we have another tank under the back seat okay. that we have to sort of fine, plumb fine. in. Because the, yeah. the original tank is not going sure. in it. I drove this in Bernie. You did? That's yeah. right. I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. There was instruction. Put lever up. Pull this. Turn that. Find this four times. And it worked, didn't it? Yep. Never missed it. That's my dad. He's got it all working for me. Yep. Oh, it's beautiful. Uh, and these are... Um, Those are kerosene. Kerosene, right. Yeah. And you just fill them up. How do you fix it? In, in the bottom there, yeah. 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 I don't have any of these. I, I, I used to unboxing that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna light mine on my the other yeah. car. I got some kerosene in there. Oh, oh, people don't always think, realize oh, what it's like. Yeah. The reason I ask is because it's cool. And, and laying out on the fender, oh, kind exactly. of thing. Yeah, it's all good stuff. Yeah. You know what? You should yeah. you should come by sometime at the yeah. at and when it's dark. Yeah. And I can show you just how bright yeah, these kinds great, of lights really great, are. Great, great. And uh, it's uh, they, they, they shine out about here. Now, if it was pitch dark, yeah. you know, then yeah. that would that would help. Yeah, that'd yeah, be a welcome great, relief. Great. Yeah. Yeah. They, they don't shine a long way. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe when you're new, the reflectors would be a little bit better and, and right, right. might go a little further. Yeah. Uh, that yeah. whole idea of laying out on the front fender and holding yeah. out a kerosene yeah. lantern, yeah. so he would take this off. Yeah. 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 That would come right off. Yeah. Yeah. And then yeah. these three lights would just off. Yeah. 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 One bolt. Yeah. I'm going to shut this off. Sure. Yeah, 
You get a ticket in Vancouver, no idle so city. Uh, that's a speedometer drive. Gotcha. Yeah. <coughs> Actually, it might be the other way around. The, the Canadian <laughs> one might be a little bit more flat, have a little bit more better, better trim on it. Um, but uh, not a whole lot of difference besides that to the crest, as the, the wings up on the crest on, on American ones, the wings down on the crest on the Canadian ones. So if somebody were to look at the front end of this car, if they know they're reels, they can tell you it's an American one. <laughs> this is that. Yeah, back in a minute. One, two. transmission in the car. Oh, really? Like my Cadillac, you gotta reach outside the car to ship. Wow. And, uh, and also it's a right-hand drive, but Rio said he wanted to build a left-hand drive, and he yeah, actually wonder. bought another car company because this transmission was in the, wow. they had this transmission. Wow. And the car company went belly up, but he wanted that transmission for this car. Yeah. And it's a really nice transmission. It shifts very close. Is it? Where is it? How many speeds? It's three, three speeds, That's not which is what most of them were in the day. Yeah. And, uh, but it's just a, a real, Fast thing to shift. You can't shift that fast on my Cadillac. Yeah. You gotta reach a lot further. They also made it with a, a real tight kind of steering thing, so it's just a really nice car to drive. This is great. Now we're going. Yeah, really. It's got a top speed of about 40 miles an hour. Great. We were surprised at that. Would all Rios be 40 or, or could they uh, get a little faster? Or? Um, well, over the years they would have gotten a little bigger engines and then, right. you know, a few years down the road would be going yeah. faster, but that was pretty much the speed for a lot of cars. My Cadillac's about the same. Right. This, this size of car was generally referred to as a 30 horsepower car, <clears throat> and that's more to do with the size of the engine than anything else. Right. And uh, it's, they, they're, they're good for that. If there were bigger cars that would go faster, but not... Uh, this size of car. This is a family kind of car. Yeah. Thousand dollar car sort of thing. But it's just been so reliable. Maybe because it's a good original car that's never been monkey with. The movie ends with them. Uh, I don't end it in. I in, saw that. Okay. So it gets a line out. Why so. is that? Because that was kind of uh, to keep going further would be sort of anticlimactic. Yeah, but it's story. The Pacific, yep. Yeah, you breach the Pacific, yep. and so and he did, as far as I know, put the water in. Or yep. Uh, yep. It, it, yeah, cool. it gets so. Yep. Right there where we were just parked, eh? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, plus we live in Kitsilano, so ah. that, you know, and the movie here. Well, I grew up in Kitsilano, so oh, I really I wow. grew up hanging out here. Yeah. Where did you live in Kits? Uh, well, the same place my dad still lives, up at 15th and Larch. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely would like to uh, chat with your dad. <coughs> oh, you would, you would find him a wealth of information, yeah. I'm sure. Uh, there's, there's certain things, you know, the subtleties, and the, the script is very good. Uh, but there's certain character subtleties and things in the background, which is yep. great. It's cold. <laughs> yeah. It's a little cooler in the back. The front is warmer. <laughs> a little video here, Peter. When we got to Yak, we deliberately found a siding and put it on this one wheel on the on the tracks on this over the, the ties just to see what it was like. And that was brutal. I can't imagine driving on railway tracks. Yeah. It was just up and down and up and down yeah. every four feet. Yeah. They did it all night long. So you had to replace anything like the clutch or brake? The original clutch? Um, I don't believe he's relined the brakes, but he might have. <coughs> they, uh, 
The original muffler. Right. Yeah, well, it's. He took the engine apart in case it needed anything, but it didn't need anything, so we put it all back together. Oh. Was that your toe I ran over? Well, thanks, Peter. That's fantastic. Yeah, you're very welcome. You're really, you I was in the adventure. Excellent. Finish drive. Yeah, it's only a few blocks away, yeah. Long drive, we'll